Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, we're going to react to the best pizza from every US state. Now this is going to be, it's going to be bittersweet for me. It's going to be fun because I, you know, I love looking at food. I love eating food, but then I also love looking at food because like for me, looking at a good plate of food, it's almost like I get a little bit of that feeling from when you eat it. It's just satisfying. And pizza, it's something that I don't eat much of these days because I need to watch my cholesterol. And But like I eat pizza maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. But when I do, I pig out. Like I've got half a pizza left in the, uh, in the fridge that I'm going to destroy after this video because I know this video is literally going to have me salivating. Oh. From clam covered pizza in Connecticut to tater tot toppings in Missouri, tater tot tot state's pizza? best pizza place. <sighs> Post Office Pies sources its ingredients locally, and its mozzarella is made in house. The pies are cooked in a brick oven, which gives the crust a charred, crispy Ooh, texture. Look at that. Moose's Tooth Pub and Pizzeria is popular for its wide variety of specialty pies with toppings such as apricot sauce and reindeer sausage. Apricot in 2015, sauce pizza. chef and owner Chris Bianco was it's hailed as America's joke. best pizza maker by Eater. One of his most popular pizzas, The Wise Guy, is topped with wood roasted onion, mm. house smoked mozzarella, and fennel sausage. Mm. Damn Good Pies is a local legend. Look at the thickness. This is a, yeah, this is a pizza. I mean, pie. this is a pie. This is literally a pie. In Arkansas. The restaurant is famous oh. for its eight handcrafted savory sauces. One of Damn Good's most popular sauces is its pink sauce, which combines its original red sauce with its signature spicy white sauce. Antico Restaurant is popular in LA for its focaccia pizza. Oh the tomato pie God. is sprinkled with caramelized garlic, fresh sauce, and quality cheese. And the olive oil laden crispy crunch you get with each bite will keep you coming back oh. for more. Pizzeria Locale is a fast casual restaurant that specializes in Neapolitan pizza. Simplicity is key as the cooks use only four ingredients in the dough. The wood burning ovens cook pizzas within minutes, so you get your pizza fast. Frank Pepe's Pizzeria has been around for nearly a century. Most importantly, the shop is known for its white clam pizza. White yes, clam pizza? seafood on a pizza. Trust us, it is delicious. For some reason, I've never ever tried uh, any seafood on pizzas. I'm trying to think. Yeah, no prawns, no tuna. I've not tried any seafood on a pizza. Maybe I need to try it. Right next to the University of Delaware campus, the wood-fired pizza shop is a popular restaurant for both locals and college students. The spicy Italian and Besto Pesto specialty pizzas are two favorite. This one looks a bit burnt to me. That crust is a bit too dark. Old Greg's Pizza is oh. a hot commodity down in Miami, with customers having to wait up to a few weeks to get a pie. A few weeks? These square pies feature a sourdough base and are loaded with delightfully oil-laden oh pepperoni cups. Oh my god, that looks Antico amazing. Antico Pizza Napolitana is about as close as you can get to authentic Italian pizza in Georgia. The tomatoes, mozzarella, and olive oil are all flown in from Italy. Even the restaurant's wood-fired ovens are shipped in from Naples. Jay Dolan's brings New York-style mm. pizza to Honolulu. The thin crust pizza is light, crispy, and loaded with cheese. At the Wilder, you can choose between red pizzas and white pizzas. The red pizza is made with organic tomatoes and the white pizza is made with Parmesan cream. The Honey Badger is a favorite and features sausage, caramelized onions, and spicy honey. Lumalna onions on a pizza, so underrated. Just that flavor, you know, that sweet caramelized flavor. Oh, oh, Mwah. Adi's is the place to go when it comes to Chicago deep dish. Look the restaurant has a secret family recipe for its buttery, flaky crust. Giacomo Upper Crust allows customers to choose from a large assortment of toppings and cheeses. Their cheese list features a whopping 12 cheeses, wow. including goat cheese, pepper jack, and smoked gouda. Wigan Pen gets its name from a long-standing wow. London establishment that survived the 1666 Great Fire of London and the World War II Blitz. Mm. The restaurant is renowned. Jeez, man. I need to try me a thick pizza like this. I think they're, they're Chicago-style pizzas. They're just so thick. Like, I probably only need maybe two slices. Nah, I'm going to eat the whole pizza. Found <laughs> for both its Chicago-style deep dish and its thin-crust pizza. 
AJ's NY Pizzeria brings authentic New York pizza to Kansas. The sauce is extra garlicky and the cheese is a blend of mozzarella and Parmesan. At Impelizzeri's, it's all about the cheese pull. The With three cheese. locations in Louisville and the original Impelizzeri's in Elizabethtown, make sure you stop here for the best pizza in Kentucky. Pizza Delicious started in a small alley in New Orleans, but the Ooh. restaurant has expanded over the years because of the demand for its New York style pizzas. Customer, What makes a pizza New York style? Is it the thin base, wide, big slices? Because I've, I've not been to New York, I'm going in two and a half weeks. So what, is it just a thin pizza? Customers rave about the thin crust and love the cheese to sauce ratio. Slab is famous for its Sicilian style pizza, which is made fresh oh, with hand mixed dough. Me. Although the slabs appear to be thick and heavy, the dough is surprisingly light and fluffy. The Generous cheese is pepperoni. spread to the edges and caramelizes as it bakes. All pizzas at Joe Squared oh are made gosh. with sourdough and baked in a 900 my degree oven, is which gives a nice crisp to the thin crust pizza. Since 1926, Regina Pizzeria has been a favorite in Boston. The shop is beloved for its all natural fresh ingredients and tasty pizzas. What's your favorite? If you had to pick four pizza toppings, what would you pick? For me, it's pepperoni, peppers, mixed peppers, so green, yellow, red. Uh, maybe it's either spicy beef or bacon and mushroom. Yeah, pepperoni, peppers, mushroom, and spicy beef yeah that's what i'd pick i'd like more but if i had to pick four that's my four what would your four toppings be buddies is the birthplace of detroit style pizza mm. these square shaped pies are cooked in steel pans making the Delicious. crust thick and crispy with crunchy bits of cheese on the corners mm. in minnesota there's no better pizza than black sheep their coal-fired ovens ensure a crispy crust mm. Lost Pizza Company was founded in 2007 by former oh, college yeah, roommates. The dough is made from scratch and the sauce is made from, you guessed it, a secret recipe. <laughs> Grinder's famous chili bomb pie features a centerpiece tater of tater tots. tots, chili, cheese whiz, and green onions. Wow. Some of the restaurant's fancy pants toppings include smoked salmon and crab meat. Biga Pizza follows the Italian tradition of using biga rather than commercial yeast as its dough starter. Oh. The local hotspot is known for its weekly specialty pizzas, Ooh. scrumptious salads, and hand-tossed dough. At Zio's Pizzeria, the mm. crust on this New York-style pizza isn't too thin, and there is a perfect sauce-to-topping ratio. The shop also offers a variety of specialty pizzas to choose from, like the original Thai or Fifth Avenue cheeseburger. Known to have the largest slices on the Vegas Strip, pinup pizza is no joke. These Good, gee, did you see the size of that slice? <laughs> Mate, that is a big pizza slice. Jeez. No joke. These 30 inch pies are available in seven inch. different varieties. Tilton House of Pizza is a go-to if you're in the Northeast area. Mm. The Greek style pizzas have a thick crust that, that is really light and good. airy. Carmine's Pizza Factory in Jersey City has a geometric pizza that was inspired by ceramic tiles. The geometric pizzas contain up to four different pizzas along with a salad or dessert centerpiece. Since 1993, Cafe Rio has brought East Coast pizza to the Southwest. The ingredients are made in-house and from scratch. It even sources ingredients from local farms in New Mexico. Are you guys fans of uh, pineapple on pizza? I'm not really a fan of it. I don't know why. I just don't really dig the the sweetness. I love pineapple, but on a pizza, it's not for me. Maybe I need to try it in America first. Defara pizza is a must when it comes to New York pizza. All ingredients are imported from Italy, and the pies are drizzled in olive oil both before and after baking. Mm. Trophy Brewing Company has several specialty pizzas. The lamb sausage topping and the spicy fire roasted tomato sauce are popular among customers. Fireflower is known for its gourmet personal pizzas. The mozzarella is hand stretched and the organic sauce has thick chunks of tomato. Mm. Harvest Pizzeria is known for its Ooh. gourmet pies. I love the crust to pizza ratio here. Nice big crust that you can dip in the sauce after you finish with the main pizza. The sauce is made in house and all the ingredients are sourced from local farmers. The wood fired ovens provide a crust that is crispy, airy and bubbly. 
1957, Hideaway Pizza first opened its doors near Oklahoma State University. There are a variety of specialty pizzas to choose from, or you can even build your own. Dovey V is a family-owned pizzeria that is famous for its cornmeal crust. The cornmeal provides a sturdy bottom while giving the pizza a crunchy edge. Mmm, cornmeal crust. Sarcone's Bakery crust. has been around for more than 90 wow. years. Even is there any cheese on that? Without cheese, the tomato pie is one of the most popular items on the menu. El Forno. I don't know, can you really call that a pizza if it hasn't got any cheese on it? Because it's basically tomato sauce on bread. Products from New England farms to create Italian dishes. Mm. It's known for its wood grilled pizzas, which are charred to perfection and have a light, mm. airy crust. Evo Pizzeria started as a food truck in 2005 and has since become one of the most popular brick and mortar establishments in South Carolina. All of its ingredients, including black cherry tomatoes, butternut squash, and Carolina bacon are locally sourced. Grill 26 has the best thin crust pizza in Sioux Falls. Customers can nice choose topics. between regular crust or cauliflower crust. Five Holy Points Pizza crust. in Nashville is known for its hand-tossed New York style pizzas. Customers love Dave's Pie. It seems like the New York style is like, you know, really popular in the US. I'd say it's probably New York style, then the Chicago style, and then the uh, just the typical Italian, you know, thin style. Which is dressed with prosciutto and basil. Home Slice brings New York style pizza to the Lone Star State. Pepperoni is a favorite, but you can also get a kit to go to make your favorite home slice pie at home. Mm. Located just off the University of Utah campus, the pie pizzeria is always buzzing. The Apocalypto uses different spices from around the world, giving the crust a slow burning sensation. The Parker Pie Company is nestled in the back of Lake Parker Country Store in West Glover. Be sure to stop in for the freshest ingredients in town and a great selection of Vermont craft brews. Puppatella is a local staple. Its menu currently offers 25 different Neapolitan pizzas, though our favorite is the eggplant and red pepper pizza, Man, which is I'm topped with so eggplant, hungry. roasted red peppers, <laughs> provola cheese, and Ugh. tomato sauce. The best pizza in Washington can be found at the Flying Goat in Spokane. Ooh, the Flying meatballs. Goat is the perfect spot for a date or a family dinner. And on Mondays, all pizzas are only $12. That's Pies and deal. Pints is not afraid to push the limits when it comes to- Hap grapes on a pizza? Oh, no, 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 no. This is, this is a step too far for me. <laughs> this is like pineapple, not a fan, but I'll try it one more time. But grapes? I don't know, man. Have any of you guys tried it? What's it like? It's the toppings. One of the more unique specialty pies is the grape and gorgonzola. Famous for its thin crust Ooh, pizza, Zafiro's Pizza and Bar is one of the most popular pizza spots in Milwaukee. The cracker crust pizza is crispy and loaded with toppings. Pinky G's is a popular tourist stop if you're in Jackson Hole. It's known for its large portions, so you can buy a slice or a whole pie, depending on your appetite. While they aren't technically states, here are the best pizza places in Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. Two Amy's is the perfect pizza date spot in Washington, D.C. Mm. For the classic pizza lover, we recommend the Two Amy's pie. Pirillo Pizza Rustica is a popular place among locals and tourists in Puerto Rico. The thin crust pizza has a light sauce and is covered with exquisite toppings like shrimp and calamari. Mm. So, which pizza was your favorite? Are there <laughs> any we missed? Gosh. Let us know in the comments. Guys, I am legitimately starving. Like, the amount of times I've had to like sip my coffee just to kind of try and suppress my appetite. For me, the favorite pizzas had to be the Florida one and the... Uh, I think it was the Delaware one. There was a particular one that it was like a rectangle shape and it had a lot of small pieces of pepperoni and the crust was nice and thick, yet still looked flaky and fluffy. Oh, God. Oh my God. If, if I could have a pizza sent to me in the mail, if it was possible to do that, I would be doing that right now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.